NASCAR's latest drama unfolds far from the asphalt, with Cup Series teams and the governing body locked in a tense negotiation over a $7.7 billion TV deal. This clash isn't about speed or trophies, it's about securing a fair slice of the pie and shaping the sport's future. Stay tuned to NASCAR Zone as we dive into the negotiation room where the stakes are as high as the speeds on the track, revealing a battle that could redefine NASCAR's path forward. But before we jump, hit that subscribe button. A significant behind-the-scenes battle is unfolding that could shape the future of the sport. At the heart of this contention are the ongoing charter negotiations between NASCAR and its Cup Series teams, a critical discussion that has extended through January without a resolution in sight. This negotiation process is not just a matter of routine business dealings. It's a pivotal moment that underscores the evolving dynamics of power, profit, and partnership within one of America's most beloved motorsports. Central to these negotiations is NASCAR's recent landmark TV deal, valued at an astonishing $7.7 billion over the next seven years. The deal is not merely a financial windfall for the sport, it represents a significant shift in the economic landscape of NASCAR, offering a new frontier of revenue possibilities and financial sustainability. For the Cup Series teams, this TV deal is seen as a potential lifeline an opportunity to secure a larger slice of the financial pie that has become increasingly challenging to attain in an era where sponsorship dollars are harder to come by. The significance of the TV deal cannot be overstated. It comes at a time when the motorsport industry at large is grappling with changing viewership patterns, evolving fan engagement strategies, and the ever-present need to innovate to remain relevant and financially viable. For NASCAR, Securing such a lucrative deal was a coup, affirming the sport's enduring appeal and value to broadcasters and advertisers alike. However, for the Cup Series teams, this deal has become a battleground. A point of leverage in their quest for a more equitable share of the sport's revenue, reflecting broader tensions within NASCAR over the future direction and economic model of the sport. The charter system in NASCAR, introduced in 2016, was designed to provide stability and financial security for teams within the Cup Series, ensuring that they had a guaranteed spot in races and, by extension, a more predictable revenue stream. This system was a significant departure from the previous open competition model, aiming to make the sport more sustainable for team owners by offering them a form of equity in the racing series. Under this system, 36 charters were issued, representing a commitment to these teams' long-term participation and investment in NASCAR. The revenue-sharing agreement that accompanies the charter system plays a crucial role in the financial mechanics of the sport. Traditionally, this agreement has dictated how revenue, particularly from broadcasting rights, is distributed between NASCAR and the chartered teams. The essence of the current negotiations hinges on this critical aspect, the division of the financial pie which has become even more contentious in light of NASCAR's new TV deal. The previous agreement saw teams operating on a model heavily reliant on sponsorship dollars, with additional funding provided through the revenue-sharing agreement to support the 36 chartered cars. This model, while functional, has placed a significant financial strain on teams, especially in an era where securing sponsorship has become increasingly challenging. The dynamics of this model are what teams are now looking to renegotiate, seeking a larger share of the revenue, particularly from the lucrative $7.7 .7 billion TV deal, to alleviate financial pressures and ensure their competitive and operational viability. Now before we continue, kindly make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for each and every update. The charter negotiations are not just about numbers on a balance sheet. They're about the sustainability of the teams and the sport itself. Teams argue that the current revenue-sharing model does not adequately reflect the evolving economic landscape of motorsports, nor does it fairly compensate them for their role in the sport's success. The charter negotiations between NASCAR and its Cup Series teams have reached a crucial juncture, with the extension of discussions through January and the decision not to extend further signaling a potential stalemate. 
This situation underscores the growing tension and dissatisfaction among teams regarding the current revenue sharing agreement, especially in light of NASCAR's substantial new TV deal worth $7.7 billion over the next seven years. The core of the disagreement lies in how the financial windfall from the TV deal should be distributed. NASCAR's signing of this lucrative contract has raised expectations among Cup Series teams for a more favorable share of the pie. The teams argue that the existing agreement does not adequately compensate them for their contribution to the sport's success, particularly in an era where traditional revenue streams, like sponsorship dollars, are becoming less reliable. Teams are seeking changes to the charter system that would ensure greater financial stability and security. This includes demands for permanent charters and a more equitable split of TV revenues, aiming to reduce their reliance on sponsorship and improve their operational viability. Alongside revenue sharing, there's a push from NASCAR for cost containment measures, including spending caps similar to salary caps in other sports. While NASCAR sees this as a way to ensure competitive balance and sustainability, teams are concerned about the impact on their ability to invest and compete effectively. The refusal to extend negotiations signals a critical moment of protest from the teams, demonstrating their unity and resolve in seeking a fairer agreement. This deadlock not only highlights the financial challenges facing teams, but also raises questions about the future governance and economic model of NASCAR. The Cup Series team's stance in the charter negotiations with NASCAR is not just a reaction to current financial pressures, but a strategic move toward securing a sustainable future for themselves within the sport. This perspective is shaped by several forward-looking considerations. Teams are advocating for a redistribution of revenue that better aligns with the evolving economic realities of motorsports. Beyond just seeking a larger share of the TV deal, they're looking for a financial structure that supports the long-term growth and competitiveness of all teams. This includes addressing the challenges of declining sponsorship revenues by creating a more balanced and sustainable economic model. The push for permanent charters and a more equitable revenue split is also about enabling teams to invest in their competitive capabilities. Teams believe that a fair distribution of resources will lead to a more competitive field enhancing the overall quality and appeal of NASCAR racing for fans and stakeholders alike. Teams are looking towards the future, seeking agreements that provide stability and predictability. Permanent charters and revised revenue sharing models are seen as key to fostering a stable environment where teams can plan, invest and grow over the long term. This stability is crucial not just for the team's operational success, but for the sport's ability to attract and retain talent, sponsors, and fans. So that's all for this video. Hit that subscribe button for more NASCAR updates.